Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card on the full moon eclipse that we are having tomorrow, give or take a day, depending where you are in the world. I am shuffling behind camera because I am here picking um, cards from a different deck, but I do want to tell you your options. So option number one is the number eight. Option number two, it is Saturn. And then option number three, it is beautiful Taurus energy here. So whichever one you feel called to, remember that these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I hope everyone had a beautiful Thanksgiving or time with family. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you very much for coming back. Thank you very much for being part of this beautiful community that we have created together. So... Um, all the timestamps and all of that will be in the description box below. Thank you very much to the beautiful soul who messaged me, emailed me um, Friday, I believe it was. Let me see if I can get your name real quick. I want to say thank you. Um, your name is Carolina. Thank you very much, Carolina, for emailing me. I loved your message and it was a beautiful reminder. Sometimes I do get hard on myself on the subject that you did touch based on. So thank you very much for that. So I will also link the chapters in the um, screen as well. So let's get started. Let's see. Well, let me finish pulling the cards here. For this full moon eclipse that we are having in the sign of Gemini tomorrow. Um, a lot of intense energy. So we have collaboration. We have here life is a mystery. Okay, so there is, I love the number eight. So maybe for some of you, if you were thinking, should I choose option number one, which is number eight? Yes. Okay, that is your option. You don't have to. For a lot of you, I do feel like there will be a surprise collaboration, an unexpected opportunity to work with someone or with a group of people. For a lot of you, I do feel as well that the pieces will be coming together in some way. Something that you were in kind of like in this hanged man energy this neptune energy okay this very confusing type of um obscure it's kind of like you couldn't put the pieces together well i feel like this eclipse is going to bring in that missing piece or that clarity that you are seeking for a lot of you there is a huge uh, leap of faith here that will lead to infinite abundance i'm also getting infinite possibilities as well a beautiful time to manifest okay be careful with your communication make sure that we are communicating from a place of collaborating from a place of understanding we might be forced to communicate from a place of not knowing okay exactly all the information and so i feel like spirit is saying make sure that you are you know communicating from a place of respect okay is what i'm getting here i don't know why that came through but that came through so let's see I'm getting this, this, uh, like communicating. Yeah. See, life is a mystery again and think on your feet. For a lot of you, you're going to have like this immediate having to make a decision. Okay. Out of nowhere, like this tower moment or this, again, it feels like unexpected shift, unexpected opportunity of something. And it feels like I have no time to think other than to use my intuition and go with it. Like there's going to be a lot of mystery behind it, but it is again, a new beginning that is being followed with the number eight. So I will say that it is an opportunity of a lot of abundance, prosperity, but you will feel a little bit insecure. Yeah, you will feel a little bit insecure probably because you don't have all the pieces together or you won't know how things are going to manifest, okay? So let's see. Option number one, option number two, and let's go with option number three. Okay, at the bottom, yeah, time to collaborate. So for a lot of you, there is a big collaboration or there is a big opportunity um, to also heal something with someone from your past, okay? Or this also feels like an opportunity to just heal with some. I don't know why I'm getting it, like with someone. Someone is coming and I feel like this is completely unexpected. I keep getting that energy of unexpectedness. Um, and you're gonna have to kind of just make a decision there on the spot. And I feel like Spirit is saying this opportunity it's going to lead you towards a lot of healing and it's going to open a lot of doors for you. Okay, so that is what I have now. <laughs> Let's get started 
Uh, fast forward to your selected option. We're going to start off with option number one, which is the number eight. So let's see, option number one or number eight. So I feel like this um, eclipse that we're having is going to lead to a lot of infinite opportunities, right? The number eight always talks about infinity, talks about soulmates, um, also talks about twin flames. It is in the sign of Gemini. Gemini, because they are the twins, you could be on the twin flame journey. Um, could be huge transformation because I'm also thinking about the eighth house energy here, which is the house of Scorpio. So you might be a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, Venus, or Mars, or you might be a life path number eight, or your birthday might land on the day of an eighth of a month. So I do feel like there's a lot of karma here too as well. Eight, I always associate it with karmic ties. Um, but I do feel like there is going to be a huge before and after. Okay, remember that eclipse energy can last up to six months um, after it happens. So you might not feel this energy right away. For a lot of you, it could be in your subconscious, again, because the eighth house is Scorpio house, which is still water, right? It's not moving water. It's just water that is sitting there. So it could be in your subconscious. Pay attention to your dreams. Uh, but I do feel like here, there's going to be a lot of opportunity to move forward. There's a lot of momentum is what I want to say here, pile number one, for you guys with this eclipse. Angel of space clearing. It's time to clear the old negative thoughts and feelings. So for a lot of you, this eclipse is going to put you in a position. It's going to force you to clean house here. Okay. To do some type of a spring cleaning. There's a lot that you're going to be letting go and releasing during this eclipse period. In order to make space for the new. For a lot of you, you might shed a tear. You might cry. This might not be easy. Um, this might be something, this might be an ending that you already saw coming, but you did not want to expect it in some way. It was there in your subconscious, but now the eclipse is going to kind of like bring it up to the surface for you. I'm also being led here. I'm, I'm like, I'm seeing the, the change, right? The wind here. So I do feel like there is winds of change here. And this feels like fast moving. I'm getting like Oya type of energy here. Kali type of energy as well. Follow your intuition. What did I say? There's something you're not awakened to. There's something within you, okay, or within a situation that you're not aware of. And I feel like this eclipse, again, because it is in the eighth house. The eighth house is that drawer that we never want to visit. It's that place that we never want to go to um, unless you have placements there. Like me, you have your moon in your eighth house, your sun in the eighth house. You have like Venus in your eighth house. And you're probably very familiar with this energy. But if you're not, this might be something that um, could have frightened you a little bit. Okay. But can also, uh, it's very rewarding is what I want to say. But there's something here that you are not awaken to and i feel like this eclipse is going to awaken you to that but i feel like you have been clearing space already or you're about to start this process i'm getting like half of you have already done the clearing and others of you you're about to start the clearing um this card says this is a wondrous time of exploration romance and creativity so for a lot of you you know there's an awakening to a relationship there's an awakening to a goal to a dream with that star energy here for a lot of you you are shining you will be shining you will be in the spotlight in some way I do feel like there's going to be a potential for you to connect with your inner self here um, with this woman being nude. I do feel like there is going to be a possibility of you connecting with your authentic self as well. For a lot of you, this eclipse is going to bring in a lot of like creative energy for you to explore. For a lot of you, you will be going on a different path on a new adventure that will lead to, again, a lot of victory, a lot of happiness, and a lot of hope for you. There's a renewed sense of hope is what I'm getting here for pile number one. This eclipse can be happening in your eighth house for some of you, okay? Or it might be affecting some type of planet in your 8th house. Okay. Wow. For a lot of you, you're reaping. You're reaping something. Now, there's karma here. And I was going to say that. I said that with the number 8. I believe I said it. Um, there's karma here. There's karma here. You're reaping something. Something's coming to fruition. Again, like I said, there's a dream. There's a hope here that it's manifesting for you. For a lot of you, this could be in a sense of communication. Okay, so podcasting, YouTube, or, or, 
um, being an influence influencer in some way or journaling writing you know anything that has to do with communication but there's something here that is becoming true that that is coming true for you there's a wish fulfillment here for you you're reaping something now remember everything has a consequence so if you've done something that maybe you know needs to be balanced out karmically then that will also be be shown here uh, as well during this eclipse season but there is something beautiful there's new energy coming in there's a lot of manifestation again a lot of momentum here pile number one with this eclipse it feels very beneficial it doesn't look you know that it's affecting you too much other than you letting go and making space but we'll see what the rest of the cards say earth pulsing pulse of the mother slow down time in nature so for a lot of you during this eclipse you might feel a little bit antsy it is in the sign of gemini so you might feel a little bit scattered you might feel a little bit like or too energetic okay where you're just like oh my god what do i do i want to do this this and that or i need to get all of this done how do i handle all of this make sure you are grounding yourself make sure you are connecting with nature if you can right depending on your situation uh but I feel like this eclipse will also allow you to slow down in order for you to work towards something that you've been wanting to. Yeah, there's a lot of healing. Like I said, there's some type of tears here. There's something here that, again, it feels very painful. I'm not going to lie, pile number one. That's not my my protocol. Um, but it definitely this eclipse will help you on your personal development there's something here that you are meant to cleanse that you're meant to clear away because it's, it's it's getting in the way of your divinity it's getting in the way of your superpower and i feel like for some of you it has to do with forgiving forgiving yourself forgiving someone else but i do feel here that this cleansing this releasing that you're needing to do like it, it's needed okay it's needed i'm seeing here lilies lilies to me also talks about peace like lenormand it talks about spiritual love as well it talks about also things you know happening in the long run so i do feel like this is something you've been working for a while now okay this doesn't feel like oh the eclipse is going to happen and you're going to clear house in six months i feel like you're coming to an understanding of why there were certain things certain people that were leaving your life or had to leave your life and i feel like with that does come nostalgia with that does come come this sense of like man you know that hurt or you know just because we have to let go of things that doesn't mean that it's not hurtful because we do have some type of affection or attachment to this person or this thing even though we know it's toxic we're still human beings and we still crave that connection um, with others or you know we crave that stability even though we know it's not good for us right we're We're creatures of habit and so let's just be real here and let's just accept things and it's okay for you to feel sad it's okay for you to be like man you know it sucks that it's needed to end or i wish that it didn't end it's okay for you to accept that that's a part of integrating our shadow as well yeah but this eclipse definitely is going to empower you okay you are being uplifted in some way you are leveling up you are rising up that's why i keep thinking that for a lot of you you already went through this clearing i feel like just this eclipse is going to like sum it up it's going to tie those loose ends and put those missing pieces together for you to be like oh that's why that needed to happen for a lot of you the things that you had to let go of or that the eclipse will be forcing you to let go of are things that are associated with your ego. For a lot of you, you were craving, you might be a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. You might have been craving, like I said, toxic habits, clouded. It clouded your vision, it clouded your dream, it clouded your purpose here and i feel like this eclipse is kind of like clearing things up for you to see how how this um toxicity was actually keeping you away from achieving your long-term dream or goal 
clairsentient. So for a lot of you, you are going to be receiving a lot of messages through your crown chakra is what I want to say here, but also through your body. Okay, so you might get like, let's say, back pain, okay, or you might get something like headaches for some of you, you're going to feel this shift in your body at a physical level with the clairsentient. Listen to your gut as a wow is what I want to say here money and worth so for a lot of you i do feel like this eclipse you were holding on to some things because you thought that this was what you were worth that you didn't deserve that star that it's right there there will be issues of self-worth that will be coming up as well here nadia if you are watching this you know this came up for us earlier um yeah you're looking at this eclipse is going to make you look at you know maybe it wasn't a person that you needed to let go of maybe it wasn't people that were keeping you where you are at maybe it was yourself your belief on what you deserve on what your worth was maybe you didn't feel empowered tie up my hair here okay yeah for a lot of you you're releasing you're letting go you're letting go of something that was very heavy for you again something that was clouding your vision watch your words okay so for a lot of you be very careful during this eclipse you will be manifesting okay um there will be a lot of energy for you to manifest instantly so be careful with the words that you're using make sure you're not coming from a place of ego um and four and five is nine so again you're at the end of a cycle you're wrapping up a big big cycle you guys pile number one here so we do have the emperor here and we do have the four of swords so for a lot of you again you're stepping into your power with the emperor energy here for others of you, you ended something with an emperor or with a person that is in, in a position of power with an Aries, maybe you are the Aries or you are a Gemini, sun and Gemini. This is sun and Gemini and we are having the eclipse in the sign of Gemini. So for a lot of you, again, something needs to end in order for you to step into your power, in order for you to become the emperor, the leader of your life and this is what the eclipse is doing yes it might be painful it might not be something easy but it remember that whatever it is that you are releasing pile number one is to empower you to uplift you to elevate you and to remind you that you deserve better because where you are currently at it's not i don't know why i'm getting something is not worthy of you wherever you are at right now Okay, and I feel like you know this, so take it only if it resonates. If someone is giving you less than you deserve and you know this, this eclipse is going to make you end it. Remember, eclipses are going to eclipse something out of your life. They're going to take something out of your life in order for you to stand in your independence. Pile number one. So that is what I have for pile number one. Thank you very much for watching. If it resonated, hit the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload. Thank you very much for, be for being a part of this beautiful community. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Pile number two. We have Saturn. Saturn energy. The Lord of Karma. The ruler of the 10th house or the 11th house depending if you're using vedic astrology or western astrology or if you believe that saturn rules um aquarius as well so this eclipse might be affecting your 10th or your 11th house okay the 11th house is the house of dreams of goals of community um it is the house of as well of stepchildren i don't know why that came through but that came through okay uh, the house of friendships and then we have and of course there's more life purpose and then we have the 10th house which is the house of you know our career our responsibilities 
everything that has to do with the public arena and how the public perceives us. So let's see. For some of you, this eclipse might free you of limitations, okay, or of restrictions. For others of you, maybe this six-month period, that is what the energy of the eclipse lasts, six months, can feel limited or restricted, okay? For some of you, you will be committing to something. You will be getting serious. You will be getting to work on something, okay? You're taking something to the next level. It's also what I'm getting here with the Saturn energy, yeah you might be a capricorn or an aquarius sun moon rising pile number two wow okay twin flame energy a connection here you're receiving clarity about a connection pile number two or again you're deciding to commit to someone or to something this doesn't actually have to mean marriage it could be marriage for some of you but for others of you, it can just mean that you are committing, you are moving forward, you are charging, you are focused on a person or a relationship in particular or a partnership. And you're deciding to make peace and to make it work with this particular person. Okay, I feel like you, for some of you, you are seeing that this person, whether this be love or whether this be work. Okay, remember, take what resonates. But for some of you, it will be love. For others of you, it will be work. You are deciding um, and receiving clarity that this relationship, this connection, this partnership, this collaboration is definitely destined for greatness. Okay, there's a union here of, of souls as well as what I'm getting here. There's a lot more peace. There's a lot more calm. Um, there's a lot more opening up to one another as well, to others, opening up to love, feeling worthy of love as well. I'm hearing there there will just be a silent understanding. There will be a recognition of souls here, a recognition of like, yes, you're the person I'm meant to work with, or yes, you are my person, the person I want to commit with and be in a long-term relationship with, okay? Angel of manifestation, your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. So for a lot of you, there is, again, the Lord of Karma is bringing in, for some of you, you've been wanting to manifest a person, you've been wanting to come into union, you've been wanting to recognize your twin, your soulmate, the one, um, or you've been wanting to find that person, you know, to collaborate with, to uh, partner up with, whether this be in work, okay, or to study or whatever this is, you're receiving that. There is rewards coming in during this eclipse season. A lot of your hard work, your determination is definitely reaping its rewards. Very similar to pile number one. Angel of family. So for a lot of you, you are healing something with the family. Okay. For a lot of you, you're deciding to start a family or you're deciding again to commit or move forward or take the relationship or a connection to the next level. For a lot of you, there is something you've been wanting to manifest in regards to your family. Maybe it's, you know, a moving places, uh, relocating, or just a forgiveness or a union or reconciliation with someone, with a family member, that is also happening as well. Karmic relationships. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like you're getting this recognition of like, I know who my person is and I know I'm with the karmic. Like there's this, I feel like pile number two, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but this is coming through very strongly and I do have to say it. For some of you, you've been in this indecision of like, who is my twin and who is my karmic? And I feel like that's coming through now, okay? For a lot of you... Uh, as well, there is a lot of soul growth here. The conflicts might be coming up, like I said, okay, with the Saturn energy, especially in relationships, maybe even with family members, okay, maybe opposing viewpoints here, polarity, opposing viewpoints, or maybe, you know, this kind of like, okay, I recognize this person, I recognize this is my person, but now we have to work through certain things, right? There might be a distance between you and your person for some of you. Okay, or there might be a distance to what you want to achieve, or there might be some water that you need to cross over. And I feel like you guys are going to be, that's going to be coming to, you know, to your focus. And it's kind of like, okay, I know this is where I need to be. This is where I need to go. But how do I get here? Or 
how do we make this work is type of the energy that I'm getting. Yeah, it's going to be an outlook. There's something here. You are recognizing uh, something. That something is your mission. That something is um, destined for you. And I feel like here you're going to be changing your approach to something. I feel like you used to look at something at, at one way and now you're going to be looking at it in a different way. Yeah, your viewpoint and your attitude is changing towards something. Something is being opened for you. There's something that you've unlocked. Okay. We have justice. So for a lot of you, you know, a nemesis. For a lot of you, you could also come to the realization that there is someone who maybe not, does not have your best interest at heart. Um, and I feel like spirit here is saying, you know, do not worry. Spirit is taking care of that situation for some of you. You don't need to, you know, uh, try to resolve it yourself is kind of what I want to say. Okay. Do not build bad karma for yourself because whatever you do right now, from this period to six months forward, can have a lot of like consequences to your decisions. So again, with Saturn, we do things by the book. Saturn doesn't want to cut corners. Saturn is that tough love type of energy, kind of like, okay, you know, you want to get to this relationship or you want to commit to this person. Well, this is what you need to do, you know? And I feel like there might be a period here where you might want to cut corners okay or kind of get to the end result right away and spirit is saying wait okay wait it out because a lot of you just want to skip to the outcome of something inner union <clears throat> crown chakra okay so for a lot of you like i said something is coming to your awareness you are achieving inner union within yourself and you're seeing something here. It's like you're making sense of something. Your connection to the divine during this eclipse season is going to be very intense. You might be seeing a lot of synchronicities. Um, if we are dealing with the person, you might be seeing this person's names or initials everywhere. Okay, and that's why maybe this is where this kind of like, okay, well, I want to skip to the outcome already. Spirit is saying you are receiving endless wisdom, okay? And definitely trustworthy guidance from your spirit guides. Gatekeeper, divine timing, yeah. For a lot of you, like I said, your gatekeeper is saying, yes, you're ready to move forward. You're ready now to unlock that. You're ready now to see this new perspective, this new vision to understand something. That's what this eclipse is bringing. For others of you, you're seeing the door open and you're seeing what's waiting for you on the other side, but it's not time yet. Okay, it's kind of like you see the outcome, but again, there's a distance here between what you want and what you're seeing. And it's like spirit is revealing the outcome or the vision or the destiny here. And it's kind of like, well, I want to get to here, to, to whatever this is. And your spirit guides are saying divine timing divine timing and i know no i know a lot of people don't like to hear that they're like no how much more patience patient do i need to be i know you guys i'm the same way i know let's see empath okay wandering path enjoy the journey what did i just say you guys pile number two you're being revealed something it's kind of like you need to get here with x's right x marks the spot and you're kind of like okay i need to get here your compass is going to be your intuition your instincts it's not gonna i don't know why i'm getting it's not gonna seem like a logical path it feels very like out there it feels very impossible and Spirit is saying, believe in miracles, okay? Because it does feel like, again, there's this big sea that you need to kind of get across from. But Spirit is saying, enjoy the journey, right? Remember that when we want something, for example, you want a house. You want to buy a house. That's an example, okay, you guys? 
don't think that your soul just wants the house and that's it. Like what your soul is yearning is everything that comes with the journey of purchasing that home. You know, maybe there's lessons in you about um, that you need to learn about financial discipline or about commitment or about um, responsibility or about confidence. Again, it's not about the end result, but it's about the journey. And Spirit is saying you're going to have to think on your feet. You're very, you are very smart with this fox energy. You're very smart. You are a shapeshifter. Enjoy the journey. Yes, you see the end result. You know who your person or what this contract is. Just enjoy the journey, okay? Enjoy the journey. Do things right. Do things by the book. Yeah, because a lot of you want to charge forward. And I feel like for a lot of you, you will, you know, because you have, you know what you want. And so I feel like you're going to be charging forward in that direction, okay? Not towards the outcome, but in that direction to achieve. It's kind of like now you're moving forward with confidence. Now you know exactly what it is that you need to do. Oh, yeah. Fast forward movement. You might be a cancer. You might be... You might have Venus, Jupiter, and Cancer. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or you might be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Venus or Mars. With the chariot, it's all about discipline, right? Because we have these two um, Sphinx here. And we have to get them on the same page in order for this chariot to move forward. If not, one's going to go one way and the other's going to go another way. So again, Spirit is saying there's still lessons that you need to embrace here. For some of you, this might be a person from the past too with the chariot. Okay, this might be someone who you are familiar with. For some of you, there could be a karmic partner that will be coming through to wrap up a lesson, a soul lesson. But for a lot of you, you're moving towards your destiny with this chariot card. And then we have number 60, time for a deep dive. Swans. Swans to me are all about twin flame. Um, again, Nadia, if you're watching this, <laughs> I've been mentioning you in this whole reading, Nadia. Um, this, I know this is a sign for you as well. Number six is about love, unconditional love. Giving and receiving. Finding that inner balance within ourselves, our masculine and our feminine energies. You're going to be doing shadow work, definitely. Definitely with that time for a deep dive. But you are becoming a swan, right? You, you are becoming the most beautiful uh, version of yourself. Something is transforming here and it's becoming very, very beautiful. Look at that light coming out of this uh, swan's crown chakra here. Your crown chakra, there's a lot of information, a lot of dreams. A lot of epiphanies, a lot of realizations about someone or something or about your path in general. Things are blooming for you, especially at a heart level, at an emotional level, especially in relationships. So that is what I have for pile number two. If it resonated, hit that like button, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Thank you very much for being part of this beautiful community. Have a blessed day. Until next time. Bye. Pile number three, numero tres, Tauro, Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus, or Mars. Taurus energy rules the second house. It's about our money, about our possessions. It's about our communication as well. It's about our stability. It's about our resources right? It's about our self-worth as well, what we value, you know, what we find valuable. Where do we find, you know, a sense of comfort as well? Because the second house definitely is about how we eat, you know, it's about um, indulgence as well. Taurus loves to indulge, right? Especially in food because it is ruled by Venus, so Venus energy is very beautiful energy. She does rule our finances as well. So for a lot of you, there could be a positive change or shift or just energy coming in in regards to your finances, in regards to relationships, in regards to your uh, foundation in some way or possessions. For a lot of you, you might have money coming in that will allow you to splurge or indulge in something, okay?
goddess of strength stand up for what you believe you will gain respect by holding your ground so for a lot of you you do need to embrace this taurus energy taurus can be stubborn okay taurus can be stubborn um, but that could be also a positive thing right because we get to stand up for what we want we don't budge taurus are very steadfast they are very slow energy they are slow they take their time to get things done they remind me a lot of like the knight of pentacles energy but with this taurus energy is letting you know that you are strong okay that you are the empress or emperor of your life and if something comes up during this eclipse season where you need to make a stand where you need to say um this is where i draw the line this is where i put my foot down definitely do it okay in a respectful way of course but if you do need to set boundaries, go ahead and do it. I never notice. Never notice. Uh, this card says me everywhere. World. Wonder. It says wonder. Wonder real. Me come so someone might be coming to you play i never noticed there was writing in this card real i feel like things are becoming real there's going to be a lot more play fun time especially with that venus energy coming in for a lot of you there's this sense of being on top of the world as well god of conflict resolution you are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict so for a lot of you again you know making a stand can also be you walking away you having that emotional intelligence and being like you know what i am not gonna you know entertain this i am not gonna invest any more energy or any more of my emotions into this situation that is not being resolved you know, sometimes when you're discussing something with someone and you're just like, you know what, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna discuss or engage in this because I know that it's not gonna end well and I know that this situation is just not gonna, this person is not gonna budge or I'm, you know, I'm not gonna get across to this person right now and so you decide to walk away. Well, pile number three, this might come up for you during this eclipse season and I feel like you might decide to just walk away because sometimes we don't need to prove our point. You know what I mean? Sometimes there is no need for us to prove our point. It's okay to walk away from something. If you know that there's no resolution coming in that, at least at this moment, at this time when you are dealing with the situation, it's okay for you to walk away. That's not you being weak. That's not you being, um, you know intimidated or anything like that that's just you having emotional intelligence and being like you know what i this isn't getting resolved right now and i am saving my energy nine of wands to battle another day you might win uh, the battle but i'm gonna win the war type of energy here angel of clearing your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over so for a lot of you you have been in this conflict energy you have been in this conflicting energy where things have been confusing when things you know are not as clear as you will like them and you've had no choice but to be strong and i do feel like this eclipse season will be bringing in the clarity that you need the moment you surrender the moment you let go the moment you stand in your power that is when this solution will come in for you soul memories and gifts you've done this before yeah for a lot of you there's going to be this period of feeling lost a feeling in no man's land i feel like you there will be a lot of past life memories that will be coming up in your dreams and meditation as well for a lot of you you do have this um past life in atlantis okay and yeah because see there's this woman here or it looks like a woman and she has her eyes closed. So for a lot of you, this could be in a dream state or in meditation. Um, where you, these emotions or these visions come up. Eighth house. So if you feel called to pile number one, definitely head over there. 
because they got the eighth house so for a lot of you again it's about this eclipse is going to show you where should you invest your emotions in are you investing your energy and your emotions in things that are good for you or are you just wasting energy and wasting you know resources in some way again sometimes the strongest move is to walk away from something there might be a lot there is a sense of mystery of fogginess here as well for a lot of you you are going through or you will be going through a kundalini awakening this eclipse will be intense pile number three i will not lie i will not lie again but it's time to reclaim your power it's time to see your true worth there's a lot of overlapping energies here pile number three with pile number one so if you feel called to watch pile number one i will say it again there's a lot of overlapping energy here but for a lot of you you're looking at where is your devotion where is your investment is it in something that is long term or is it in something that is keeping you confused and I feel like this eclipse is going to force you to step into your power and walk away. To step into your strength and be like, you know what? This isn't serving me. And that doesn't mean, you know, having a grand exit. <laughs> you know, exiting someone's life or being like, you know what? No, no, no. You can easily just like be like, okay, I'm just disconnecting. I'm disconnecting. It's not serving me. And I feel like the moment you do that, clarity will start coming in. Power number three. Yeah, for a lot of you, I was going to say there is this sexual connection with someone, okay? Or you do have a, a strong sacral cord attachment with someone. Um, because the 8th house definitely rules Scorpio. It rules, you know, sex energy as well. So for some of you, you might be in this sexual connection with someone, okay? And I feel like it's not, it's not showing you your true worth. And so I feel like for some of you, you are deciding to disconnect. But this eclipse, again, the moment you walk away from something that I feel like it has been restricting you, that's when your creativity, that's when your passion can resurface. Because I feel like here there's something that you're investing in that is not good for you. And actually it's draining you and keeping you in this fear-based energy. Pile number three. Do a lot of sacral sacral chakra work during this next six months. We have inner healing, victorious, breakthrough, ancestral strength. So again, there is a lot of ancestors backing you up at this time. Okay, helping you, guiding you, helping you disconnect, cut cords maybe with someone or something here. Because they're saying we want to see you be victorious. Spirit is saying you're in the making, you're on your way there, but there's something here that is dragging you or making it harder for you to move forward on your path. And so I do feel like there will be this breakthrough again through your dream state or through meditation. And I feel like whatever this vision is, is going to give you a lot of strength for you to walk away from something. Archangel Michael is going to be with you, working with you, again, helping you work through your fears, through attachments, um, through cutting cords with certain people or certain things that are not good for you, for protection. We have Yamaya, Oshun, or Oya, and Oya. So definitely, if you want to work with any of these Orish Orishas, you, can defini you definitely can. Uh, Yamaya is a water deity. Then we have Oya, she is wind. And then we have Oshun, that she is Earth. Okay. Joy and delight. Open your heart. King of Swords. Yeah, someone's putting their foot down. The King of Swords is like, can smell BS, a lie, from miles and miles away. Okay. Um, the king of swords is someone who stands in their truth, in their integrity. Someone who's very smart, very wise, 
very eloquent in their communication, very direct as well. If you don't, this might be an ancestor that's guiding you. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone in your ancestry line that held a lot of power. Could be a male, does not have to be. Could be a female that was very much connected to her masculine energy as well. But this is a person that people came to for uh to solve problems or to give some type of a guidance with that king of swords for some of you this eclipse season will be well we're in this it is going to be in the sign of gemini forcing you to connect with some truth to see clarity to use that sword like archangel michael to cut away from something that has been bringing conflict and it has been has been keeping you in this low vibrational energy of fear For a lot of you, this could be a person um, that you work with. I don't know why, but I'm getting this. Is, this might be a person that you work with. Uh, for a lot of you, there is a new contract at work as well, is what I'm picking up here. That's going to bring in a lot of change with Oya, winds of change. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be bringing in a lot of nurturing, a lot of uh, positive emotions and Oshun, a lot of prosperity, a lot of sweetness, a lot of joy and delight into your life. And for a lot of you, it's this is going to all come in after you cut um, this energy out of your life. Whatever this energy is that you need to cut away from, that's when this beautiful energy can come in. Your last card here. For a lot of you, this might be something that you might be working on or you have been working on. And it's kind of like, I don't, you know, I'm getting like a work in progress. Again, this eclipse is going to show you that you are a work in progress. Okay, and that you are worthy of achieving the things that you want to achieve. This eclipse is going to show you where you need to invest your time and energy into in order to see the best results for yourself. But for a lot of you, you do need to get focus is what I'm getting here. Okay, pile number three. Your last card that we have here is Canary Spirit. So sing your own song. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like you've been giving your power away to something that was not good for you or that is not good for you and i feel like your ancestors are not having that anymore your ancestors are like okay enough for a lot of you, you might be working with others and your ancestors are saying it's time for you to cut cords and work on your own for a lot of you you have been investing in other people's dreams and other people's um hopes and wishes but you haven't been investing on your own and your ancestors are saying nope it's time to invest on your own invest in yourself invest in your own song in your own dreams in your own vision so that is what i have for my pile number three thank you very much for watching if it resonated hit that like button subscribe and i will catch you guys next time bye